Yeah, y'all. Like I've said before, I ain't got no problem telling y'all when I play myself, when I do something that I regret doing. About a year ago, I was leaving Home Depot, no, Lowe's, buying some lawn equipment, you know, about to get my yard in shape. And this real attractive, I think she, I'm going to get to it, she was mulatto. I, I, I came to that conclusion. She comes up to me and she starts talking to me about religion and church and stuff. It was really, she was a Jehovah's Witness trying to get me to come to the church. That's part of the, the requirements of being a Jehovah's Witness. You got to go out and minister to people, basically harassing people, you know, about religion and stuff. People don't want to hear that. I remember being a kid and they would come in my neighborhood or my grandmother's neighborhood and we would have to turn the TV off, you know, turn the lights off, close the blinds till they went away. And I used to think to myself then, yo, why don't you tell them people you're not interested in what they got to talk about and tell them not to come around here no more? I, I never understood that. But getting back to it. She was attractive, so I listened to what she had to say. And we were, you know, talking about religion back and forth, not having a debate, but having a discussion about it. And how I came to the conclusion that she was mixed and not Puerto Rican was because she said her grandmother used to take her to the Catholic Church. So I'm assuming, right, in my neighborhood where I grew up at, there's a lot of mixed couples or no a lot of, not couples, but a lot of white girls that got pregnant by black men and they're no longer together. So that I concluded that her mother, her maternal grandmother, who was white, took her to the Catholic church and her father was black. So at first, when we started talking to each other, her body language, she, her legs were crossed. You know how somebody stands, they're standing up, but their legs are crossed, which was a closed off stance. So I'm like, okay, she's not feeling that comfortable around me. So as we kept talking, her stance opened up and she had open palms. And she was smiling. So she says, you know, you should come to the to the they call them kingdoms. You should come to the kingdom on Sunday, which happened to be Easter Sunday. And I was like, yeah, OK, I'll come. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, you know, am I going to become a better Jehovah's Witness? Because I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. I mean. I hate to say it, but it's a weird religion. They got so many restrictions on what you can and can't do and can't say. But I don't mean to offend anybody who may be listening to this that may be a Jehovah's Witness. It's just not for me. And I'm thinking to myself, should I go because she's cute? But I'm not trying to be, I'm not at all focused on being a Jehovah's Witness or a better Jehovah's Witness. So, you know, I came to the conclusion that I shouldn't have gone, but I went anyway because she was pretty and she didn't show up, which tells me, well, it tells me she wasn't interested, but it also tells me that I shouldn't have went because I wasn't trying to really find out about the Jehovah's Witness religion. And plus, you can't marry nobody. If you're a Jehovah's Witness, you can't marry somebody who isn't a Jehovah's Witness. So the point I'm making is don't do nothing for a female because you want to get with her. Do shit that's going to make you a better person. If I had a true interest in finding out Jehovah's Witness to try to make myself a better person or thinking that could make myself a better person, I should have went. Not because I found a girl attractive. Learn from that.